Welcome back to everything, where we play everything. Today we're playing A Rule of Rose. I fucking love this game. So I have beaten this before, but it was like probably five or six years ago. Um, I don't think the cutscenes work. Time, they might, actually. A precious little girl. They didn't work very well the first time I played through, so I'd like hack the PC SX2 emulator a lot. Always at her side. And it was really hard. And I haven't done that on this then one. One day, her mummy and daddy died suddenly. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna and play. And the poor little girl was sent away. Okay, so I'm just gonna skip it in case it's not playing. Yeah, it's supposed to be showing stuff right now. Little princess. Oh, this is like the best part because it's the little drawings. Damn. Okay, well that looks fine. Basically what happened is she got on a bus and she was handed this, the little princess. Once upon a time there was a precious little girl. Her friend the princess of the red rose was always at her side. Oops. Then one day her mummy and daddy died suddenly. The princess too disappeared leaving the girl all alone. And the poor little girl was sent away to a strange house. So yeah, she got on a bus, she was handed this book by a kid, and then she ended up here. Suddenly the girl was all alone. And so the story begins. A mysterious, unthinkable, filthy tale. However, the young girl, Jennifer, had no choice but to surrender to the unsettling predicament. Oh, what an unlucky girl. I love this game so much. It looks so good. It looks so bad, but fuck, I love it. Look at her shadow. It's just a big square. I'm pretty sure that's the emulation. <laughs> it's not how this is supposed to look. Strange hill. Yeah, that's a terrible shadow. Oh well. Just don't look at it too much. So this game is very long. It's very, very hard. So I will not be playing this like through a second time. Um, for the channel. Sorry, even if it's requested, I, uh, I don't want to. It's just such a long game. It's so, like, so much of it is so stupid. She heard a dog's bark. Like the combat is the worst thing ever. It sounded strangely familiar to her. Beckoned her to come. Let's go the other way. I'm just kidding. Nah, I want to go see. Let's go see the dog. I like dogs. I save you, little buddy. I'm here. I'm here, Brown. There's an old padlock on the door. However, it's not locked. Rickety shit. Where's the dog? Oh, shit. Where is the dog? There's footprints, though. I can almost match my feet to him. Both my feet fit inside one footprint. Meaning I am not the culprit. A slip of paper is tied to the dog's collar. It's a slip of paper with boarding pass and a picture of a fish on it. Jennifer found boarding pass. Nice. The name Brown is on the dog collar. Jennifer found dog collar. Hey, don't be laughing at me. And we found everything we can in here. Do, 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 do. Here we go. If this game, that was a good voice crack by the way. If this game got an HD remaster, then I would play it through again. What the fuck's going on? Okay. Can you go faster or is that not a thing? I don't think it's a thing. Strange Hill Part 2. What does that say? Rose. Nice. I never totally understood why it was called Rule of Rose. Maybe that's what it's called when it's like a forbidden love or whatever this game is trying to portray. <laughs> uh, I love it, but it's crazy. It's definitely crazy. Ooh, that rock looked kind of like double. I don't know how to explain it. It looked split in half almost. It's like, fuck you, lady. 
You ain't getting in here following the boy up the road. Pause for effect. She came upon a huge old mansion. Pause for effect again. For some reason, this place seems familiar to the unlucky girl. What's up with that? And we can just go on inside. Here we go. Just kidding. <laughs> I think his name is Peter. Children with bags over their heads are beating something with a stick. The unlucky girl was frightened and backed away from the gate. She doesn't look like she's backing away to me. All right. So while that's going on, let's just go sneak around to see what we what we can find. Quick we keep flying. Can't talk for any reason, so might as well just talk like that. With a voice crack. You know? That's how I'm supposed to narrate. That's how I'm supposed to commentate. I've never seen a Let's Play that didn't do that. <laughs> Fuck you, boy. That was Amanda, I think. I think that was Amanda. I could be totally wrong. I don't remember their names, really. But I think one is Peter and one is Amanda. And here we are. No one allowed without a pass. Alright. Well, it's a good thing that I have a pass. And laugh like that too, boy. Jennifer's so cute. Look at her. She's so timid. What's that? Um, Legend of Stray Dog. Stray Dog. Girl. Jesus. Sneeze. Okay. Girl Jesus Sneeze. That's a good name for this episode. Um, do I go through here? Alright, don't have to put a note through that one, I guess. I don't know what I'm saying. Look at this ground, how glitchy it's glitching out and stuff. Ooh! The bag moved on its own. You could see the handle. It wasn't being dragged. Is that a kid? No, it's a sign. Looks like a kid, Jesus. Entrance this way. Yes? It sure is. Now let me in. Thank you. That's fucking... Why would you put a sign on a door and not have the door be operable? Like... <laughs> okay. Whatever. It feels like something's watching us. Just kidding. I think it's about to say that, actually. <laughs> yeah, just keep using the same sound effect over and over. That's how you do a doorknob. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> the unlucky girl felt the chilling gaze of many eyes upon her. Oh, I love the music so much. Yet she was all alone. I downloaded this soundtrack when I beat it, or like think like when I was halfway through it or something. Um, and then just listened to it for probably a year. And then I had to delete it off my phone because I got sick of it. <laughs> but the soundtrack to this game is so fucking beautiful. It's kind of like Okami. It's just an amazing soundtrack, no matter what. And Okami's amazing, too. I would have already played this, played that on the show, Okami, to be totally honest. Um, but the HD remaster is coming out in a month, in December, I think. And it's coming out on PC also, which is fucking awesome. There's a creepy doll tied to a pillar. His head fell over. And making him look like he was trying to suck his own dick. So I did it for him. Oh, what an unlucky girl. <laughs> well, let's pick it up. There you go. Old photo. It's a faded group photo taken in front of the mansion. And that's your first hint that Jennifer was actually part of. Um, oops, save your game, yes. He doesn't even have a bucket on yet, though. Overwrite. Save successful. 
Oh, it's not April anymore. It's March. Awesome, I guess. Unless that was my old beaten save file and it was still on here somehow. Uh, it's a good thing I'm never going to replay this, I guess, because then I would be more pissed. I don't really know where I'm going, so... Ooh! Wish I could see that. I can see what's in it. It's pretty hard. Come on, Jenny. There's nothing in there, I guess. Alright, cool. There's the lumber in the urinals. Toilet. Alright. Where do we go? I know you have to go... Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I can laugh too, motherfuckers. You wanna see me laugh? Ooh, follow the train tracks. Nice. Hello. I'm not gonna follow the train tracks. I'm gonna follow the boy. Get back here, you little shit. Did you know this game is worth like, I think 300 plus dollars for a used copy? Like not in good condition? I don't know. Seems a little crazy to me. <laughs> I mean, I do love this game, but I would never buy it for that much. It's just ridiculous. Um, go. There you go. Ooh. There's a note here. You can wait one sec, kid. <laughs> Pick it up. Orphanage map. Nice. That's all I need. Um, go. And we're here. Oh, it's a cutscene, so... It, oh, it will play. Cool. Cause it ain't pre-rendered. It's no FMV, so it won't play. Or, it will play. I don't know what I'm saying. Look at his face. Jesus. That was terrifying. It's like black scribbles going all over his face. Look at that. What an emulator this is. What the un When the unlucky girl approached the boy, he said, My, aren't you a slowpoke, like always. Here, read me the rest of the story. You know, the book I handed you. <laughs> um, oh, I have to actually open it. I thought she was doing it. And the poor little girl was sent away to a strange house. At her new home, the aristocrat club lived by the rule of Rose. But the girl found herself very much alone. Um, go. That's the end of that story. Do, do, do. We will now begin the funeral. Alright. All those attending, please gather around at this time for another cutscene that you cannot watch. Oh, I can watch it. This part was always really creepy to me. Still kind of is, actually. Come on, Jennifer, the funeral is about to begin. Hey, what the fuck? The funeral for your dear friend. <laughs> Laugh it up, cunt. Before she realized it, the boy was gone. I'm sorry, I'm moving my mic. It's a little bit loud, I bet. Hopefully I remember to cut this part out. Probably won't, though. And the girl was left in confusion. Is that Brown? Where's my boy? Where's my boy Brown? Oh yeah, you don't find him until the airship, so... We're not gonna be able to find him on this episode. I'm not continuing it. We're not gonna get to see the dog. It's the best part of this game. Um, come on, controls. <laughs> it's one of the better controlling PS2 games, honestly. A rear stairway. It's my favorite kind of stairway. Where's my boy? Better not be downstairs. Is the door right here? No, I think it's down one more. I know where I'm supposed to go. I just don't know where that spot is, if that makes sense. There it is. Yep, this is it. Almost positive. 
When the girl went out to the yard, she found a shovel standing before a grave. First time, time I can't talk at all. First time I played this, it took me like an hour to find this place. <laughs> I went into every room and then didn't even see this door. The unlucky girl sensed that something very dear to her was buried here. As if possessed, she began to dug... To, did that say dug or did I just say that? Dig furiously. And you don't get to watch it. It's probably one of the best scenes in the game. Damn it. Would you like to save? Yeah. Might as well. Now it's April. Uh, I don't know what that last save file was. Damn it, you can't see it. I'm sorry about that. This really is the best part, is little drawings that come up for each chapter. Ah, oh, that's sad, man. Can't see this one either. Can't see almost anything that's happening. There we go. So we got buried also, and then we were taken up to an airship. Alright, now it's going to be really sexual. She found herself in a strange room. Ah, oh, that noise plays the entire game. The it's so annoying. It was a cold, lonely, stinky room. One of my friends should be living here. Because it's stinky, just like she is. You know who you are. I'm just kidding, you're not stinky. You're beautiful and perfect and amazing. And I love you. And here's an announcement. Good morning. How do you feel? I feel great. Let's have a little chat, shall we? Alright, let's. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Good girl. Ooh. Jennifer, you know you've been a bad, bad girl. Yeah? And bad girls need to be punished, don't they? Oh, uh, well, I agree, yes. <sighs> You're a brave girl. Yeah, I am. Anyway, I'll be the one giving the orders around here, okay? Uh, no. I want to be the dominant one in this relationship. Hey, girl, you still don't understand. No, I'm the dominant well, one, so fuck will you. Before long. Yeah, you're going to have to show me. Now, I'm going to give you your first order. Okay. Every month you need to find a gift and bring it to the aristocrat club. If you don't, I'll kill you. Sounds good. Is there anything about this that you don't understand? Sounds like a deal. No. Hmm. Oh well. It doesn't really matter what you say. All right. You see, Jennifer, there are really only two kinds of people in the world. Yeah. Those who take orders and those who give them. And I am both. From now on, I'll be giving the orders. Not fair. It's fair. Well, but you fuck Jennifer, you. I'm the one in charge. So. <laughs> My orders or else. Or else what, bitch? <laughs> well, I am the prince, and the prince rules. <laughs> eh, I don't know about that. This is your life, but you'll play by my rules. <laughs> You're getting loud, my dude. Let the games begin, dear Jennifer. <laughs> Jeez. He's fucking insane. But you know, what can you do? It's just my favorite best friend, probably. Good thing I didn't move my hands in the slightest bit. Apparently. And so, the rope was cut. Snip, snip. <laughs> and the girl joined the aristocrat club. Congratulations. Congratulations. I don't know why I said it twice, but okay. Let's get the scissors. Just kidding, can't reach them. Just out of her reach. Except they're not. She was literally about to touch them before the cutscene stopped her. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take the bucket. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna put it on there. If you do, I'll help you in return. Alright, so... I think that's the end of this video. I mean... You didn't get to see much because the cutscenes didn't work, but we got somewhere. We did something. I never do that in horror games. <laughs> it's true, though. 
Bucket Knight, Keeper of Promises. Fuck yeah. Alright, well, thank you for watching. If you have anything to recommend, leave it in the comments. I'll try and play it, because I play everything. And, yeah. That's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to hang out by my best friend in the stinky trash room where I belong. Later. I like how she gets black lipstick and then white lipstick and then black and white and black and white. Alright, bye.